Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. First things first, everybody, Merry Christmas. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am also here to give you a gift from HL Mod Tech, friends. This is a domino starter. So you will be able to open this project and you will have the domino. I'm going to clean up the other stuff, but let me show you the characteristics of this domino. It's 16 by 6 by 28 and I've rounded the edges a tiny bit and you'll notice it's named domino. That is because I switched from basic shapes to your creation and I created a shape called the domino. These are cool because they use less resources so you can have more of them and your Tinkercad project will still work fine. So if you've never made one of these, switch to your creations, click create shape with that piece selected, wait a moment for it to load, give it a name. I'm gonna redo this, I'm gonna call mine domino v2. You could add a description in tags, never lock the part size, and then save the shape. So then you can use it in any project. Now I don't need duplicates, so I'm going to click here and delete it. And confirm. A couple of quick things. You'll notice the world is larger. That's because I went to settings and I backspaced and made that 500 by 500 instead of 200 by 200. The largest you can go is 1,000. I just figured we would start right here. And then friends, the other trick I want to show you is the five millimeter nudge. If you click on your one domino and do control D and do one, two, three clicks, that's 15 millimeters. And if you let go, you can do control D again and again to make your awesome domino run. If we real quickly go to SimLab, you'll notice they're orange. Once they pop into place, you are ready to play. If you hit play, you can start your dominoes. Now I'm going to start these by throwing something at it. You can just click the mouse and bingo, there goes your project. You can pause, you can slide it back and forth. You can have a blast making your own cool domino runs in almost no time. When you're done, hit reset. Let's go back and I'm going to show you a couple more build things. So I want this to launch automatically. We're going to do that real quickly by going back to basic shapes and looking for something that would be fun to launch with. How about the wedge? If we bring the wedge out, we can lift it up. You can also do control up. I want this to hit at the top of the dominoes. So I'm lining it up. I can grab these two, choose L for a line, make the domino the boss and say I want it to be in the middle. I can click on this guy and don't use the white handles. They do two at once. Notice that's harder to work with. So I'm going to do control Z. Instead, use the black handles to pull them back one direction at a time. And then I'm going to bring a ball out and connect it to the wedge. So this ball will roll down and start my dominoes. Now you may notice this is floating. No big deal. Check this out. If we move back to SimLab, we can click on any object and we can make it static. That means this cannot move. Now when we hit play, you'll see that the ball rolls down. Bingo, domino start, and we're having a blast. All right, so let me back you up and show you why I'm giving you this. We're gonna click back up on the work plane and I've got this whole space for you that I already showed you you can make larger. Friends, of course, this is my YouTube channel. Totally appreciate all those subscriptions. What I wanna show you today though is if you slide down, you can find my SimLab tutorials and click on view full playlist. Now they're sorted pretty much in the order that I built them, but if you slide down, check out all the fantastic domino projects that i've created so many fun ways to make domino projects and even how to record them so you can show off what you made finally though i wanted to find this one right here it was a fantastic christmas tree domino project by domino 150 and the abominable tinker man as you can see it runs in sim lab i'll make sure there's a link to this in the video if you want to watch it there are fancy dominoes that go the whole way to launch it all at once. Really cool techniques. And then right now I want to challenge you to make other fun shapes. I'll let you be creative, but just picture maybe a beautiful star, an ornament, a candy cane. What about a whole gingerbread house 
that all topples over, maybe a reindeer, maybe even a Santa. You can take this domino starter and think of it as a pixel art and domino project at the very same time. Of course, friends, whenever you build whatever you come up with, there are a few things you can do to show it off to me or the world. The first thing I like to do is click on the background, make it a different color, and get rid of the grid. And then you can simply move back here to the Tinkercad page, click on your gear, choose the properties, make sure it's got a fun name, and of course give it a description. If it's one of my projects you'll notice there's almost always a tutorial. And then down below there are other ways you can reach me. Add some tags and then friends if you ever add the tag HLMT23 on anything you create. I check this tag almost every day and of course I will give you a reaction. Make your design public and then I always choose attribution no derivatives because I want you to come up here follow those tutorials and gain some awesome skills. Friends I sincerely hope you had the merriest of Christmas and I'm looking forward to seeing all the amazing things you create with the fun domino starter and the Tinkercad Sim Lab. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you can tell, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. Down below, you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, below that, you'll find the sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also need to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.